I am going to be trying to coherently provide you a review of The Spear Cuts Through Water by Simon Jimenez. This is Simon Jimenez's second novel and it is his first technically fantasy novel, but it is something that is so defiant in its writing, in its portrayal, that it truly is something extraordinary. In case you couldn't tell by that very brief introduction is I absolutely adored this novel. The Spear Cuts Through Water is a book that doesn't come out until August 30th, 2022. At the time of filming this, this is towards the end of July, I was able to thankfully get an electronic advanced reader copy from NetGalley, so uh, thank you to NetGalley, I guess. Um, I was really hoping that I would be able to get approved for this because I absolutely adored The Vanished Birds when I read it earlier this year and I was so excited to see what he would do with a fantasy novel and what he did with this fantasy novel. Like I said, The Spear Cuts Through Water is a fantasy novel, but really it's only a fantasy novel in name. Its premise is that it follows two warriors as they are on this five-day journey to shepherd an ancient god to destroy the reign of the, the standing royal family. And it's so much more than that. What Simon Jimenez is able to do in this gorgeous, gorgeous follow-up to his debut novel, which is The Vanished Birds, is truly astounding. Where The Vanished Birds is a science fiction in name, but it's really more literary and folkloric in its storytelling. This, The Spear Cuts Through Water, is something that is a fantasy that is both an homage to the traditions of fantasy, but also is equally openly and purposefully defiant of the genre. What Simon Jimenez is able to do with over this five-day journey is he, he's able to make this five-day journey feel so epic and make the epicness feel intimate and the intimacies feel so epic. And he, he's not only able to do this through these two warriors and through this ancient god, but he also includes you, you as the reader, as there is a second person point of view to this novel that can be admittedly a turn off for some people, but the way that Simon Jimenez is able to execute this story through its narrative framework and structure is truly, truly astounding and, and mind-blowing and gorgeous. He really sets the expectation through the, the dedication page itself when he says, this one's for me. And you can tell that this is a very personal story and this is a very personal novel that he's sharing with the world and that, he's, that he shares it with us and that we as readers are able to become not only so so familiar with a story for himself, but also to have that story become our own as well in a way is, is really just a beautiful experience. The narrative structure is, is dreamlike and dramatic and it's simultaneously foreign and familiar. It's just a, a, a novel of of opposites and and a novel of everything. It's part fantasy, part folktale, part allegory. There's just an elegance to it and it's it's awe-inspiring, I think. The way that Simon Jimenez is able to methodically, yet seemingly chaotically, build and balance this tension throughout the throughout the narrative both 
as with you as as the second person narrative and with these nested narratives able to tie them all together and make it just click it's it's truly truly a work of art I would say that if you are hesitant to try any experimental or less than traditional fantasy novels, this may not be the one for you, but once you actually try it, I think you would really, really enjoy it. Um, there are some elements to it that are absolutely bonkers, but it just, it makes sense and it's truly wonderful to read and I I can't wait until it comes out because I'm going to read it again as soon as it comes out and I get my hands on a physical copy. Well, hopefully, hopefully this re review makes sense and it isn't just me just incoherently gushing but if you do wind up picking up The Spear Cuts Through Water definitely let me know. I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching this video, I guess. But more importantly, thank you to Simon Jimenez for sharing this wonderful story with us, for writing something for him, but also for all of us.